And here we are with our Shark Pattern Championship winner for the World Series of Bowling 14, Matt Ogle with the big cup. Finally. <laughs> Finally got me one. Uh, Matt, your first singles title, second career title. Just describe what this moment means to you. Uh, it, it's sunk in, but it hasn't, I don't think. Um, I still have more bowling to do tomorrow, unfortunately. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm speechless right now. You know, I, I, this is something I wanted my whole life. So to finally get it uh, feels amazing. Uh, you can tell the emotions are starting to come out there. Uh, yes. How, how were you able to regroup in order to, to get those seven? Uh, you know, deep breaths. Uh, just what I've been told over the years, uh, you know, by Sean Rash and, my, you know, my roommate and all my f uh, friends on tour, you know, just, just take your time, regroup, trust the process, and, uh, and you know, things are going to happen. So they finally happened for me, and it's, it's great. Yeah, so there's one thing you learned from Rash, it's uh, that block there on the... <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming about. But, yeah, uh, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I, I had to regroup and, and it worked out. How, you, you know, you missed that 10 pin earlier in the match. You had to make two more, including that one in the 10th. Um, <clears throat> how were you able to, to make that such an important span? Uh, you know, <clears throat> missing that, I, I knew I missed it off my hand. Um, I just had to regroup, leave it behind me. There's nothing I could do about it. Uh, and then shooting the 2-8, I was a little worried about it. You know, but um, again, it worked out, <clears throat> and I, you know, just stay clean and, and trust what I'm doing. That's what I had to do. When uh, Cooley blinked a little bit early in the first match, she just kind of got to him, came up right off through a double. How yeah. important to you was it to, to step up in that moment? Yeah, that was uh, very important for me. Uh, it gave me a little relief, uh, but unfortunately, I missed a ten right after that. Uh, but you know, getting the double after he opened twice was uh, definitely the turning point in the match. Yeah. Matt, you've been having a fantastic year. You know, you're out here pretty much full time. I think they said you missed one event this year. Yeah. So, when did you make the decision that you were going to be out here basically full time this year? Uh, <clears throat> when I got two sponsors that are on my back, and then you know, Deviate, they they always take care of me. Um, you know, that's that's when I decided that it's time for me to do this full time. Um, I skipped uh, Springfield Classic. That was on me. You know, I wasn't really prepared. Uh, the U.S. Open, I finished, I think, 15th or 20th. I don't remember what it was, but that was a lot of games to not be prepared. So I took the week off to regroup, and it, and it worked out all season. So it's uh, it's pretty pretty good. You were the player that struck the most on this pattern. What was it about this pattern that seems that you think really fit your game most? Um, you know, my misses are usually left, <clears throat> and with the 48-foot pattern, I felt like I could I had that hold in there. So. As long as I cracked on it pretty good with my hand, you know, got got around it good, um, I, I was not going to go high. So that works out for me. You talked about the support that you had. We saw it. We saw your wife, your dad. They were talking, obviously, about your son as well. You got this guy, Sean Rash, and a couple other friends. What did it mean to you to be able to have them in the crowd for this moment? Yeah, I, this is this is the dream. This is what I wanted. This is it, and I did it. You had a good friend in the crowd tonight, too. Everybody knows you won doubles with Sean Rash, but Greg Ostrander, a <clears throat> former PBA professional, showed up in the crowd, too, to, yeah. to cheer you on. Uh, I mean, you had people far and wide. Uh, yeah. What does it mean to have a guy like Greg come in from New Jersey just for one game for you? Uh, you know, he's been helping me the last two or three years through the phone uh, as I'm bowling qualifying. You know, if my reps aren't around or they're busy, you know, whatnot. He knows my game better than I do, I think. My equipment physically, uh, he, he's got it down, and he knows what I need to do. And, you know, I, I didn't really need him tonight, uh, but I knew he was there if I needed him. So uh, he's been my old roommate. Uh, he can come out anytime he wants, and I'll take care of it. <laughs> so you're saying yeah, Craig Osterner may have a new career now that he can't pull on tour. <laughs> it's possible. Maybe just for me, not everybody else. <laughs> uh, you told us that you felt like you arrived just by being the number one seed. Yeah. How do you, how do you I feel, feel like I belong for sure now. You know, this is, uh, you know, fourth in points. I got my first title, single title. Uh, I'm here. I'm not going to look back. The, the only three names ahead of you, I believe, at this point are EJ, Sandel, and Delphine. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you know, the dream was to be with those guys, and I'm finally there, and it hasn't really sunk in yet. That that part hasn't got to me yet. Um, uh, you know, they support me just as much as I support them. So, uh, you know, as long as I can keep it up, I'm going to stay with them. You had a, lo a lot of other players that were out there, Marshall Kent, EJ Tackett, and everybody was out there hugging you too. What does it mean when you have guys like that that are also so excited for you to get this in? Yeah, that that feels good. That, that's kind of my crew that I, you know, ride around with, or you know, we might go to get lunch or have a beer or whatnot. But uh, you know, to have them here watching and, and to celebrate that with me, uh, it just means the world. You're gonna have the shortest trophy celebration here at the World Series of Bowling 14 because the job's not done yet, man. You gotta get back to uh, bright and early tomorrow yeah. morning. You're in eighth place overall for the World Championship. There's only 12 match play games, and you're 250 pins out of a TV spot. 
how tough is that going to be to make the show tomorrow? I mean, is it going to be every game is going to have to be close to perfect, or do you have some room for error tomorrow? Uh, I have no room for error. Uh, <clears throat> the Arrow Anthony pattern seems to be quite on the easier side uh, versus what we bowled all week. Uh, so I'm going to have to keep up for sure. Um, you know, I want to be 10 pins above the guys that are, that are bowling good. So um, I'm going to fill this up with some drinks, and um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> How does this individual win compare to the doubles win with Sean? It's totally two different things. Uh, you know, man, if he wasn't here, I wouldn't be doing this. But, uh, you know, he was there for me. Set me up, you know, made it all about me. But this, this is uh, – this is totally different. You know, it's it's amazing, and I've waited for this my whole life. Sean, do you have any questions for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> off, off record, I'm ready. All right. That's awesome. Matt, congratulations once again. It's a short turnaround on tomorrow morning here for 12 games of match play from the World Series of Born for the World Championship. Yeah. Congratulations, and we'll see you first. Thank you. Appreciate it. Feels good.